Well, welcome back to the channel. Much appreciated for you joining me today on this uh, fine day in November. <laughs> a, bit, a little bit chilly. Anyway, nevertheless, uh, I've got a nice little CRF300L to take out today and uh, I'll give you my first ride impressions on this new model. Well, new for 2021 anyway. So let's jump on. Ah, very tall, not what I'm used to, being a short ass. <laughs> right, neutral. Single cylinder, double overhead cam, 300cc. Right, here we go. Mirrors are okay. A little bit vibey already, I noticed, but yeah, that's going to be the case. Straight out, no issues. Oh, also looks like we've got a green light ahead of us. Always a bonus. Just sort that camera out a little bit. Just going to warm the bike up a little. I so I've only just jumped on, so uh, if you're interested in this machine, then uh, stay tuned. And what I'll do is I'll pull over in a bit and I'll give you a thorough walk round of the bike, run through all the specs in the usual uh, in the usual way. Nice rider position on this. I mean, the first thing I feel feel like doing when I get on this is. Uh, you know, looking for the nearest green lane and uh, doing a bit of off-road, to be honest. I uh, don't know how uh, skilled I am at it. I've not done that for a lot of years, but it's the first thing I feel. Uh, I used to be into this style of bike many years ago. You know, the motocrosses and uh, off-road bikes. Yeah, very vibey through the mirrors there, but like I said, it's going to be expected on, uh, on this machine. They actually make a, a rally model of this as well, 300 rally, this is a 300L, so there's various changes of that, I think a bigger fuel tank, talking of fuel, what we got in the tank, oh yeah, plenty of fuel, I've not, I've not got this bike for long today unfortunately, so uh, I'm going to cut it fairly short, get as much information in as I can, yeah, the, the bars are very wide, well, they're going to be being a you know, this style of motorcycle. I think on this model they've been pulled pulled towards you a bit, you know, a bit closer towards you. I think the fuel tank's been, you know, the other size has been extended as well for this model. First impressions are, a little bit of mud here in the road. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would be interested to see how this performs off, uh, you know, uh, on the dirt really. So unfortunately, I'm not going to get an opportunity to to, to uh, try that out today. I mean, plus it's not my bike, so brakes are very good as well. A lot of dive there on the nose, but but yeah, I don't think they'd be too appreciative. Oh, a little bit of a wobble on there. Got a big, I think it's a 21-inch front wheel on here, so not really designed to, for uh, hanging off on the roundabouts. <laughs> there you go. So I'm just going to kind of gel with the bike a little bit as I normally do as you'll know in all my other videos and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing plenty of bike reviews on on way on the way although probably not as much you know being this time of the year so just have to squeeze them in where and where and when I can really switch gear very minimalistic there nothing behind nothing in front horn standard sort of horn there high beam low beam there on the left hand side so uh, the lights are on. This has been a Euro 5 compliant. The lights, the lights are on, sort of normally. Daytime running lights, or just main beam actually, not daytime running lights. Uh, indicators, left and right there. Usual press, press in the middle to cancel. Right hand button cluster, very minimalistic. Uh, kill switch there, and hazards, and the start button. So that's that out of the way. Very minimalistic, which is, uh, well, what more would you want on a? a uh, kind of off-road sort of machine as I like across this rail crossing no issues there 
no issues at all. Oh, close this visor down a bit. Hopefully you can hear me okay. A little bit breezy. Nothing to worry about though, at least it's dry. Now I quite like the styling of this bike. So, you know, when you look at it side on, you know, and we will go through the specs and I'll, I'll take you for a walk around the bike, so don't go anywhere. And, uh, I, you know, it, I love the look of it. It looks like a proper sort of off-road motocross bike, this. Uh, like I say, there's been a few changes, se several changes, and we'll run through them in a bit as well. I'm sitting here at 50 mile an hour. This camera mount is not, not very tight on there. We've got this hose. Keep knocking the camera. Never mind. <laughs> there's not really many places where I could mount that on here it's got this sort of crash bar across here you can stick a lovely bit of foam on there if you wanted you know for the proper off-road look you know lots of mods you can do to this bike as well you know if you wanted a tail tide and I think it, you know it would be screaming out for a tail tide this bike exhaust you know various bits you know changes Getting fairly wind blasted, but that's a, as, as can be expected. What are the brakes like? I'll try the brakes out. I'll do the front brake first. Yeah, not too bad. Not brilliant, but not too bad. We'll do, do the rear. Actually, rear's very good. We'll do them both together. It's really annoying me, this camera. <sighs> we'll try them both together. Yeah, actually, very good there, really. I can't grumble about those to be honest. Gearbox, very nice, six speed. It's also got the torque assist clutch, I think, as well. So I think 20% lighter feel on the clutch lever there, and it is very light on the clutch. Very, very light on the clutch. Little button there I just noticed. It says uh, you can turn, disable the ABS for uh, off-road. Oh. It's a nice field there, but no, I'm going to have to re resist the temptation. I don't think the farmer would be too happy either, would he? <laughs> I went gorging across this field on the CRF 300L. Uh, yeah, this is this is the new, like I say, the new model. When it's new for 2021, it replaced the uh, the CRF 250L, which I quite like that bike as well, you know, prior to the launch of this one. So, I say, nice bike, you can go out and enjoy the scenery. Not, hopefully not for your knackers off like today but uh, yeah you, you know it's just a little little short ride out today just on my, my sort of first impressions really you can see all the information there on the uh, on the dash there on the old LCD dash on here uh, it's got your basics it's got a clock it's got the uh, fuel gauge which is a bonus rev counter going across the top there speed uh, mileometer uh, yeah, six uh, gear indicator there as well. So yeah, it's got everything you really need on, on a bike like this. Ideal, absolutely ideal. Suspension's very, uh, you know, suitable really. I know, sort of, uh, you know, mainly a, a dual purpose machine, this sort of on and a bit of off-road as well. Green lane in it would be ideal. You've got that additional power performance as well. So, uh, you know, up from the 250 model to give you that extra, extra performance. Oh, getting wind blasted here. Slow down a little bit through the village. But yeah, so far I can't moan at all. Loads of suspension travel there as well. Uh, the forks are non adjustable by the looks of it. And, uh, yeah, I would say the rear is adjustable for your preload in the usual way. It's got plenty of pull, no issues there. Quite happy sitting here at 55, 60. So I'm not going to go too mad, it's not my bike. And uh, what's the mileage? Yeah, it's only done 950 miles, so you've got to go a little bit easy, you know, with these, with these bikes. It's got a lot, a lot of mud on the road here. I mean, this is what I'd class as a bloody hazard. For the for the motorcyclist anyway I mean, look at that i mean yeah i appreciate the farmers have got to do their job and you know but you know when it gets to a stage like that you know you know maybe a sign before prior to coming to the corner would be quite nice you know you don't want to go shiny side down 
especially on a bike that is not not my bike you know yeah the brakes are reasonable I think it's a, yeah, it's a single disc on the front and uh, obviously single disc on the rear twin pot on the front and a single pot on the rear We've got no no issues at all really with the with the braking I'll try again we'll do them both together I mean, I'm not I'm not going when I test these brakes I'm not I don't want to lock the brakes up I shouldn't do that anyway what with the ABS but <laughs> I'll go a little bit easy really we'll probably have a, make a nice wheeling machine this we'll take a right here Actually no, we'll go straight on. But I haven't got long anyway for this, so uh, again there's lots of mud in the road, big puddles. Just need to be aware of that. Normally tires. So uh, we'll have a look at the make of them as well in a minute. See what they got, see what boots we've got on on a just pull over just up here, around the corner. I'll give you a thorough walk around of the machine and run through the specs. The specifications. I'm quite enjoying this ride today. Although, like I say, it's, it's a bit nippy around the ghoulies. <laughs> but, you know, nice to be out nevertheless. I'm not such a wonderful machine. Yeah. Get yourself out to your local dealer. Get yourself a test ride on one. We'll pull over just here on the right. Indicator on. Out of the way. Ticks over nicely. Indicator off. Right. Neutral. No issues there with the neutral side stand. Very easy. Let's give her a little rev. Well. It's quite meaty that does actually. Oh right, okay, let's jump up, let's um, turn her off and I'll run through the specs. All right, well there you have it, the 2021 Honda CRF 300L uh, in their adventure range. Yeah, it's basically uh, new for the 20, 2021, the changes, it's got the longer stroke, uh, new in inlet cam timing, uh, revised air intake as well. So it's a 286cc liquid cooled single cylinder with a double overhead cam and you've got the electric start there as well we've been, been through all that actually earlier when I started started the bike uh, Euro 5 compliant uh, giving you it's basically 20.1 kilowatt convert that I think is around 27 brake horsepower from that engine there that single cylinder engine there at 8500 rpm also 26.6 newton meters of torque at 6500 rpm Six speed gearbox, and I had no issues with the gearbox there, nice and smooth. Um, so it's, it's still in the running, running in process as well. So, yeah, it's got the, uh, the like I said, the, the assist and slipper clutch for 20% less lever feel, you know, and uh, you know, less load on the on the lever. And you do notice that, you do notice that. That's the first thing I noticed is how light the clutch was. Uh, wheels and tyres. Well, the wheel is on the front 21 inch. Uh, fairly knobbly tyre on there, actually. Not sure on the brand in there, actually. Uh, yeah, GP21F trials. Yeah, I'm not sure, actually. Let's have a look. Yeah. IRC by the look of that. Anyway, moving on. <coughs> I diverse. So the rear wheel is an 18 inch rear wheel there uh, again nice knobbly tire on there i don't know how they'd perform you know off-road brakes front brakes 296 millimeter funny uh number that but there you go so one of those wavy discs uh oh i'm out of breath <laughs> yeah it's one of those uh, wavy discs 3.5 millimeter thickness with a twin pot caliper rear brakes 220 millimeter Wavy disc again with uh, 4.5 millimeter uh, thickness there and a single pot caliper on the rear. Wheelbase, got a wheelbase of 1,455 millimeter. Uh, 
claiming a lighter chassis as well on this model so uh, yeah very nice you definitely need a tail tidy on there as well I would say tidy that right up yeah the handlebars as well actually on this model have been pulled back slightly and it's got lower foot pegs as well there's actually no rubber in the foot pegs there so uh, I don't know if you'd probably might may, maybe eliminate some of the vibration there if you did have the, uh, the rubber uh, I understand why you don't have it off-road you know obviously you don't want to be slipping off the foot pegs but yeah it'd be nice to sort of maybe do away with some of that vibration ground clearance 285 millimeter loads of ground clearance there which is obviously what you need on a bike like this it's got the old traditional helmet lock there as well not seen one of those for a while <laughs> uh, it's got a curb weight of 142 kilograms which yeah you don't you know it's a very light bike very light which is obviously what you need off-road uh, you know issues there at all seven 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 gosh spit it out <laughs> 7.8 litre fuel tank i'm not quite sure on the mpg but i would say you know with that engine that euro 5 compliant engine you're going to get a fair amount of miles you know to the gallon from this this machine so yeah led indicators flexible so uh you obviously you want you know you don't want to be kicking them off uh, when you sort of swing your, your leg over the bike uh what else can i tell you positive easy to read lcd display We'll turn that on actually. We've already looked at that when we were riding the bike. So yeah, it's very easy to see. No issues with that at all. Um, the, the actual price of the bike is five coming in as this all this information is according to the Honda website. So the price of the bike on this model is five thousand one hundred and forty-nine pounds. That's for the CRF three hundred L. And they do like I say they do do the the um, the Honda CRF three hundred rally. Which, you know, personally myself, I prefer the look of this. You know, this is more up my street anyway, but it, that's my personal preference anyway. Uh, that's coming at 6099 according to the website. So, yeah, overall, very nice looking bike. I mean, I, I do lo love that. Look, you know, it's my kind of, I don't know, it takes me back to my youth a little bit, you know, with the, uh, the off-road bikes and, you know, very nice. Well, I think we should jump back on and ride some more. Uh, glasses are steaming up here now. <laughs> that is the trouble that's the trouble it's that time of year you know it's going to get cold and anyway enough about that old waffle let's jump back on her and ride a little bit more feet are actually actually i'm near enough flat footed on on this which is uh, quite a surprise really starts up springs into life no problems we'll turn and circle very good that very good little bit of feathering of the clutch there to uh, control the machine take the left here we'll go back this way so I would like to take this It'd be nice to sort of take on a on a green lane let's close this visor up see what she's like you know on a bit of dirt which is you know where probably where this bike is uh, you know in its element i can't really comment on that because i don't know but certainly no, no issues on the road you know a lot of these bikes you know they're not they're not the best at handling on the road you know due, due to the size of the wheels and you know, you've got a 21 inch front wheel so not really the best at tipping in and, uh, now on the old corners steaming up a bit here He's brave in his t-shirt. Certainly not, not t-shirt weather today. <laughs> but there you go. Yeah, I mean, you know, this, let me know what you think. Could you see yourself on one of these? Or, you know, maybe going out for a, a little test ride on one. I don't know. Do you own one? Let me know. Let me know you're getting on with it. I'm interested to know, you know. I'll try and reply to all the comments, best, you know, when I can. Sometimes it's difficult. You know, there's a lot of comments. That bike, that car just went straight through that puddle there. <laughs> Jesus. That poor lad on that moped, he probably just got soaked. <laughs> oh dear. Not the smallest of puddles. <laughs> that bloke on that bike, moped's probably swearing. <laughs> Another guy in shorts. Jesus. Just looking makes me feel cold. 
Just looking at that. We'll go a different route on the way back. We'll go a little bit, you know, some windy roads just ahead. We'll see how she performs on the on them. Yeah, nice and comfortable. I mean, you know, see, seat is a little bit hard, but very narrow bike. You know, although you've got the height, you know, the height of the bike. This is so narrow. You know, your feet. You can, you know, I mean, I'm five foot seven. Uh, I'll get my feet on the deck, no problem. It's quite nice, you know, you can see over the top of the cars and not the big Range Rover, but being so high up on the bike, you get a good, vis good, you know, good bit of visibility ahead on the old Nationals. Can't grumble at all today. Better take the bike back now, unfortunately. Hello, sir. Oh, it's been a nice little ride out, anyway. I love the colour scheme on these Honda, on this model, anyway. You know, the, the Honda colours. Very nice. You know, it's your, own, it's your personal preference, but you know, I, I think this model that, that it only comes in those colours, anyway. So, oh. Going for an overtake manoeuvre. <laughs> Here we go, hold on. No issues there with the overtake. The old moped's nip nipping along as well. Another good thing about this but this model is uh, you know the service intervals and you know the engine is bulletproof you know uh, uh, very very low maintenance not to say that you you know you obviously need to service them but you know, certain models of bikes now well a lot of models of bikes now tell a lie a bit of a contradiction there you know the service inter intervals are very you know very spread out now yeah you know this one I'm not sure what the actual interval is, but yeah, it'd be good on fuel as well. I can't quote you the figures because I don't know. I don't want to quote you the uh, figure, you know, the wrong figures. Most of the information is off the Honda website, so unfortunately they didn't quote the MPG. Lockable filler cap there. Some of them you can actually. I don't know about on these Hondas, but some of them you can actually unlock the key and uh, you know, leave, just you know, put the cap on without it being locked. But I don't know about this model. Very wide bars. Don't know what it would be like the filtering for each traffic. You know, if it's what your your everyday commute with bike or. Well, anyway, much appreciated for you joining me. Just a quick ride out today on this Honda CRF 300L. Um, unfortunately, like I say, I haven't got it for very long, and I've only just sort of jumped on, so I can't really tell you any more than than, uh, than that, really. So, thanks for joining me, and I'll hopefully I will see you on the next video. So, take care. See you soon.